TT's Vol Curve Manager gives users the ability to view implied volatility curves and the power to create their own vol curve which can be used to calculate theoretical prices as well as Greeks. In this video, we will look at the volatility data available in the Vol Curve Manager and demonstrate how to create our own custom vol curve. The Vol Curve Manager displays the vol curves that are used to calculate and display information in the other widgets of the TT platform. Starting from a blank vol curve manager, CME is already selected as the exchange, so let's use the product drop down menu to select LO, the product symbol for crude oil options. Notice that the top pane includes all of the options expiries for crude oil. When we select an expiry, we see implied vol curves in the middle pane and a two day history of at the money volatility in the bottom pane. We can toggle the display of each of our vol curves and related data points on and off. We have implied volatility at each strike plotted for the bid, the ask, and the midpoint between the bid and the ask. We also have a vol curve based on the settle. TT dynamically creates a fitted vol curve to smooth outliers and address strikes with wide bid ask spreads or no market at all, and users can also create their own vol curve. We can zoom into a particular area of the curve by left clicking and dragging across the area of interest. Right-clicking zooms us back out. TT also stores the fitted vol curve values every few seconds and displays that as historical vol. In the lower pane, TT graphs the at-the-money volatility for the most recent two days. If we click our mouse on the at-the-money graph, the entire vol curve for that point in time is displayed in the middle pane. If we drag our mouse across the at-the-money graph, we can see how the shape of the fitted vol curve has changed over the course of the last two days. Before we create our own vol curve, We'll configure a few product level defaults which will apply to all of our vol curves for all expiries of the monthly crude options product. Within the settings menu, we'll have the vol curve manager calculate our curves using an interest rate of 0.01. We'll leave the day count set to calendar and click save when we are done. Seeing as we are more than halfway through the day and want to factor in intraday decay, we will apply a setting of 0.07 under days out. This will display green to let us know that the setting has not yet been applied. We click the save icon and our days out will display red to indicate that it is now part of our vol calculation. The vol curve manager calculates our vol curves using seven control points which can be spaced horizontally by a number of standard deviations from at the money. We can double click in each cell and change its value. Let's change the number of standard deviations on P3 to 3.5. Again, our new values display green to indicate that the new settings have not been applied until we click save. With our product level settings in place, we will now create our own curve for the May 2018 expiry by selecting that expiry in the top pane. Notice that there are numerous columns, all containing values of zero. This indicates that we are currently using TT's fitted vol curve for theoretical and Greek calculations. We first need to unlock the row by clicking the lock button on the far right. This exposes additional buttons, the first of which allows us to start with an existing vol curve. Let's select Snap to Auto Fit so we start our vol curve with the vol curve calculated by TT. We can now see our user curve in the middle pane with seven control points that allow us to change the shape of our vol curve. The volatility for each of the control points is displayed in green. To shape the curve as we like, we can drag and drop the points on the graph, or we can type the desired value of each into those points directly in the grid. Beyond the outside control points, our model applies a linear slope. We can change the angle of the left slope and the right slope by typing values directly within the grid. Once we are satisfied with the shape of our user vol curve, we can save it. Now our custom vol curve is being used to calculate theoretical prices in Greeks for the May 18 monthly options product throughout the other widgets in TT. If we would like to stop using the user curve and revert to the default fitted vol curve, we click the trash button next to the user curve. We see that our custom values have been cleared and our workspace has reapplied TT's dynamic autofit curve. As you can see, TT's vol curve manager provides users with accurate theoretical values in Greeks and powerful tools for precise customization. For more information, visit tradingtechnologies.com.